थर्टी सिक्सटी के अंदर ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डी एन ए डबल हेलिक्स सो वी ऑल नो दस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डी एन ए डबल हेलिक्स दैट दे मेक हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स बेसिस विल बी इनवर्ड बैक बोन विल बी इन आउटवर्ड पोर्शन एंड अनदर थिंग आई कैन गिव यू द बेस टैकिंग इंडक्शन आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट इट ओके सो now let's move on to the next slide is the factor that stabilize the double helical strand so what are the factors that stabilizing that because the first thing is the stereochemical factor the arrangement of the bases the arrangement of the bases and the pairing of the hydrogen bonds with each other and uh, and the complementary nature is not the place but the arrangement of the bases and also the position of uh, the backbone and the hydro uh, and and those nitrogenous bases is a key uh, to uh, stabilize the dna double helical structure most stabilizing force is the stacking interaction which is which is the up and down interaction between uh, the interaction between the uh, bases of lower layer and the upper layer okay okay the stacking tendency of single stranded polynucleotides can be viewed as a resulting from a tendency to bases to reduce their contact with water why they make stacking interaction because they always try to move away from water because they are hydrophobic in nature so that is a very very good driving force if you look at in case of proteins then the protein folding is also mediated by one of these uh, reasons because we can we do, we, uh, we are not un unable to crack the folding uh, driving force but still we can say that this hydrophobic nature of some of the amino acid of the protein sequence can trigger them to make the hydrophobic core and that stabilizes the protein structure same case here can be observed in case of dna the nature of those bases the hydrophobic nature of those bases helps them together to make a compact structure to make an inward and compact structure the double helical structure is a more favorable arrangement essentially removing the nucleo bases from the aqueous environment to make a permitting hydrophilic phosphate backbone and that gives them slightly del g negative and that's why this this is also thermodynamically favorable and this is not a way of how it's make the del g negative but another way is that in the in the core region of dna where two two base pair from two different uh, strands come together and make a pair uh, they have a very very tiny distances and this very tiny distance they do not have any water so all the water molecules are eliminated so they have very fewer distance with each other they acting the distance they acting very fewer amount with each other so that results in uh, the uh, very very uh, what we can say uh, stabilizing amount of nature and when they come closer the water molecules are released and that also increase the entropy and increasing entropy is also favor always favored in Uh, in biological systems okay so here is uh, the double helix from the upper view so if we look if we look at the double helix from upper portion we can find something like that okay so here we have the hydrophobic interior with base pair stacking and you have the sugar phosphate backbone in the outer side okay so so you can see this is the plane and the second plane will be like that previous plane is like that so this is the arrangement of different bases so the arrangement of bases in such a way that they leaves a really really very small region in between them so the water molecule cannot make an entry inside that okay and the phosphate groups are facing outside so the water molecule can come and interact with this outer region because uh, phosphate won't mind anything because they are they love water to interact with water now i've talked about different factors which will stabilize the bonding so what are these different bond patterns here is a table it's a very good picture again here you can find different bonds that can be found in dna uh, helical diagram the covalent bonds it is between uh, the carbon carbon and the carbon nitrogen which can be found in bases and sugars this is these are the actually real covalent bonds and also the phosphodiester linkage is a very very good example of real covalent bond which is really stronger that's why they have to make a strong bond of the backbone if the backbone is weak then the whole structure will get shivered off really very few uh, very after very few time okay so they make their backbone really strong but the other interaction like the hydrogen bonding between those bases are not that much strong but the hydrophobic interaction is not that much strong but still they they help to 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 make or maintain the structure continuously so this is the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs and also the stacking interaction between those bases though they are not that much stronger but they helps to maintain the dna structure in such an amount because the hydrophobic nature of the bases uh, is preventing them to go towards the water molecule so always when a dna strand is placed in the solution it always tries to make pair with itself 
the hydrogen because the hydrogen uh, because the nitrogen containing bases always try to make a uh, bond with each other to 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 go inward of the to go out of the water so to go facing out of the opposite of the water that's what the giving force to maintain their structure to make a compact structure okay